here we have an Xbox 360 that is suffering from the three rail lights issue. And today we're going to fix it using our repair kit. Okay, let's cut it off and take it apart. Now, I won't show you how to take apart an Xbox 360 in this video, but if you click on my YouTube name, you will see videos on how to take your Xbox 360 apart, okay, and break it down to the bare motherboard, which this is what we're going to be doing today. It's breaking the Xbox down to the bare motherboard. Okay, once you've broken the Xbox 360 down to the bare motherboard, the first thing you're going to want to do is sit it to the side and prep the heat sinks, okay? And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our wrench and remove the screws from the heat sink. Okay, these are the original screws. We're just going to take our wrench and remove all of them from each heat sink. Okay, once you have that done, we're going to put four of our new screws inside the large heat sink, okay? And basically just take one screw at a time and replace it. Replace the new one with the old one. Okay, after you have that done, this is what your heat sink should look like. Okay. Once we are once we have our heat sink prepped and our motherboard stripped bare, what you want to do is take your thermal paste and put it on the GPU chip and it's this one right here now you don't need a lot all you need is a little dab okay I didn't add a lot a little dab just enough to cover the surface and we're going to take you can use anything you can use a credit card or or a quarter or anything that you can just find and rub rub the surface because you're going to want to rub the thermal paste over the GPU chip okay now this is basically used to help keep the chip cool put a little bit more in there make sure you have enough covering the surface you don't have to put a lot just enough to cover the surface Get around the edges now we're going to take our first heat sink. Now there's no need to scrape the thermal paste off the bottom. It's not really going to matter. Now you may watch some videos and they tell you to scrape thermal paste off of the heat sink in the motherboard. But trust me, it really doesn't matter. It's not going to make much difference at all if you do or if you don't. So basically going to take the heat sink and place it onto the chip and we're going to take our flathead screwdriver and make sure all of the screws are on pretty tight, okay? Because you don't want any loose screws. Okay, then we're going to hold it into place. And we're going to flip the motherboard over, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our washers, okay? One of the rubber washers, and we're going to place them at the bottom of the screw, okay? And we're going to do this for all four screws. Let's place the washers around that one. Okay, now we're going to take um, one of our nets and place it onto the screw. And we're going to do this all the way around just like we did the washers. Okay. Now the washers are rubber. Now it's very important that you use rubber washers. Now some videos 
will tell you you can use steel or you can use plastic washers. But rubber are the best because they give and they can bend, okay? And when the Xbox heats up, this is very important that you have a rubber washer because it will bend and give. And that will cause your Xbox not to bend and give. So the Xbox won't flex anymore than it has to, and it'll be the washers that do other flexing. Now, once you have that all the way around, you know, just tighten them up a little bit. Then we're going to take our wrench and tighten up each bolt. Okay. Now, you don't have to get them extra tight, but you never want to just. Tighten one up all the way. What you're going to want to do is tighten a little bit on each one of them and just keep going around. Never just tighten one of them up, you know, almost as if you were changing a flat tire on a car. You wouldn't just tighten one of them up, you would tighten each one piece by piece. Then once you feel them get pre-tightened up, you can go to the next heat sink. Okay, now you get the CPU chip, and we're going to take a dab of thermal paste and place it on the big chip and the little chip. Just enough to cover the surface. And have a little extra. You never want to put too much on there. 